Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to this video. This is a different video. Recently, one of my friends moved into her very first house and she is so excited. Well, I went over there to check it out and look around and she had already been cleaning stuff out that the previous owner had left and she left this beauty out on the curb for the garbage man to pick up and I was like, uh, excuse me, what are you doing? You can, this can look nice. Why are you throwing this out? Anywho, I dug this monster out of the trash and uh, took a look at it and I saw its potential. That's the thing I really love about old stuff is that sometimes you're the only person that sees the potential. Like this thing is so gross, y'all. You wouldn't even believe it. It had about three layers of paint on it. It had these splatters all over it. I don't know what it was, but Regardless, um, I got the bright idea of I'm going to use chalk paint on this. The wood seemed to be a really good quality wood. Like it was very, very sturdy. So my initial thought was like, okay, I'll strip this down and uh, I'll re refinish it. And, but after starting to work on this top, I was like, no, there's no way I'm stripping this down. So I'm just going to give this a rough sand and chalk paint it. The really nice thing about chalk paint and milk paint is that for the most part, you really don't have to do that much prep work. Some people will tell you, oh, don't do any prep work at all. Personally, that's not my thing. I think you need to give it a little bit of sand so that the paint's got something to kind of, I don't know, grab onto. And I mean, in addition to sanding this thing, I cleaned this thing so good before I even sanded it. Like, this thing's gross. So I feel like sanding it is just going to help it be even cleaner. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or if that even makes sense, but that's what I did. Anyhow, to sand this thing, I put on some gloves and a mask because this thing's old and I don't know, um, I don't know what kind of paint this is. I don't know what's been on this or if there's mildew growing on it or anything else growing on it. So put on a mask, be safe. I know I'm like the safety patrol, but somebody's got to do it. Conveniently enough, the top drawer of this dresser had a huge stack of 36 grit sandpaper. And I was like, well, if this ain't a sign, I don't know what is. So I used this 36 grit sandpaper, which is huge. Um, that's a lot lower of a number sandpaper I would normally use to start one of these projects, but it worked out great because this thing was caked on and gunky and gross. Of course, you can use an electric sander if you want. Uh, I usually, when I do these projects, I use an orbital sander. I don't know if it's the right sander to use, but it works for me and I'm not a power tool expert. If you know what you're doing, go for it. Um, I chose to do this by hand because it was just such a job and I kind of think sanding is therapeutic, so judge me if you want but I kind of like it. I forgot to mention before I started doing anything I took all the drawers out and cleaned out all the drawers and lo and behold the drawers are filled with paper from 1975. Obviously this is at least from 1975 which is automatically cool enough and old enough for me to be like hey don't throw that away. So for your enjoyment I took some pictures of the newspaper articles from 1975. There's this really nice one um, about Elvis about these people who tried to mail themselves to Elvis for his 40th birthday. Yeah apparently ain't nobody got nothing better to do in 1975 either. Anyhow I looked for other signs of the age of this dresser and uh, I took a look at the drawers. The drawers appear to have a machine-made dovetail here joining the drawers. Um, I took a look at the lock in the drawers. These look like half mortise locks. I mean, I don't know what that tells me, but that's what they are. Uh, I always think it's cool when drawers have locks. I don't know why. One thing that's really interesting is it looks like this piece back here is actually made out of a fruit crate. It says Birchmont Orchard, Olds, Washington. Either way, you can still tell that somebody has already redone this dresser once, maybe even twice, because the layers of paint on here are really thick, and they painted in the lock holes, which really cheeses me off. I love original hardware. Paint on the hardware just makes me crazy, but anyway, I'll talk about that later. So once I gave this whole thing a rough sanding, I took my chalk paint. I used Rust-Oleum Aged Gray. This is not a sponsored video. This is just the product I used, so I'm showing you it. I took the Aged Gray Chalked Paint. This is about 16 bucks. Got it from Home Depot. Shout out to Home Depot. Not a sponsor, but you could be. Call me. No, I'm just kidding. And I put one coat on the whole piece. And that's about it. I put a whole coat on the whole piece and I let it dry overnight. After this dries, at this point, you're just like, oh gosh, this ain't looking too good. I'm kind of concerned about how this looks because the first coat in general 
whenever I use milk paint or chalk paint looks really streaky and you're worried you're like what am I doing I'm just messing things up so after that had dried the next day I came back and I took some 800 grit sandpaper now first of all 800 is like nothing okay it's what I had laying around again I normally wouldn't use 800 unless I'm doing like you know end of some, like end of something's like finish like this is anyway whatever you can use something with a little more grit if you want or something a little less you decide for you okay I'm just using what I have on hand I always have this saying in life there's always going to be somebody who knows more than you there's always going to be somebody who knows less than you and there's always going to be somebody who knows less than you that thinks they know more than you so if you legitimately you know know about this stuff leave constructive feedback in the comments we're here to learn um so if you have knowledge share your knowledge it might help somebody so this isn't some professional help page this is just sharing my journey with you guys okay disclaimer 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 so after i've given this whole thing a light tanning i'm just gonna paint a second coat on this you don't have to watch me paint a second coat we ain't got time for that and most importantly i changed the knobs on the drawers the knobs were absolutely gross i ended up buying these uh i think it was 10 plastic ones for eight dollars i know plastic ugh. this was kind of a whim spur of the moment thing so i got the cheap ones don't judge me i can't help it come on stop it last but not least it was time to tackle the mirror that came with this dresser this mirror was so disgusting but it was so cute it's got these little flowers on it it was so cute but good lord it was gross look it's got spider eggs all over it so the first thing i did was take some lysol wipes and just go to town anybody who knows how to clean glass or mirrors is probably like cringing right now saying no don't use lysol wipes but i had to use something to cut through that shout out to lysol you could be a sponsor no i'm just kidding after i got the majority of the gunk and nasty off then i just grabbed some windex i'm dropping product placements all over the place in this video and I was actually really surprised at how well it cleaned up. Look at this. And there is some antiquing going on with this glass. You know, that those black spots that, you know, most old mirrors get. And it's really pretty. It took a lot to clean out the gunk out of all the corners. And that was really gross. But overall, I just put two coats of paint on this. And it turned out really pretty. And I'm excited. Now we have a kind of new looking dresser. Overall, the process took about two days, and it was a lot of work, but it wasn't so much work that it wasn't achievable. I Hopefully, this was somehow helpful or at least entertaining to watch, and I hope y'all are having a real great day. Bye, guys.